So Ambika asked me to create a lead magnet and I kind of happened to create a whole encyclopedia of everything that I've ever created for coaches who are starting out. Um, it's <laughs> cost some internal frictions, but I'm super excited about what we have created here because it, it really feels like leaving a legacy because for the past 10 years, I've been working with a lot of coaches who are starting out. And so, you know, I've been asked all these marketing questions around, well, who do you work with and who do you have uh, good content for? Uh, and, and I like to work with all the people, but coaches have always found their way to me quite organically, right? So ever since I got into coaching, really, I've been hanging out with other coaches who are starting out. And over the years, we created so much content, podcasts, videos, blogs, little nuggets, little pieces of, of resource that, uh, that are just helping new coaches either do coaching better or expand their business. Because without clients, you can't help people. So that's been a really rewarding process. Yeah, I, I just felt natural to just give people everything that I have. Um, it feels really, really meaningful. And while there's a lot, most of the work that we've done in the last two weeks is really about how can we create an overview? How can we create a roadmap? How can we appreciate that people can come into coaching with all of these different ideas, experiences, skills, and give them a library, give them a pool of resources that they can draw out and pick what they need. The reality is I don't know what you're bringing with you when you start coaching. You might be a super experienced salesperson and a serial entrepreneur. You don't need that side at all. But what you're interested in is the nitty gritty of sitting with a client. What's it, what's it like to hold space? You know, how can I end sessions on time? Or how can I prepare for a coaching session when I sit there and it's five minutes until the client shows up? From the practice side to the business side, to a whole section on helping existential coaches or people who are interested in getting into existential coaching. It's just everything that I've ever done is in there and we've given you a good roadmap so that you can actually navigate what's in there. This is years of resources to work through probably, but we did create a, a roadmap of, you know, these are the essential bits that will really help you out when, you, when you're getting into coaching. Whether you're just considering to become a coach and you haven't done anything or you're just fresh into training, you're in the middle of training, you're fresh out of training, or maybe you've trained a little while ago, but you're still feeling quite new at this, right? So wherever you are at the beginning of your coaching journey, there's many stages of beginnings. Here's a resource pool where you definitely find something that will elevate your practice or elevate your business, make you a better coach or make this more sustainable uh, as a profession. So I'm really excited about 